Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. And today I have a walkthrough of my latest journal. This I'm calling it Pink Roses, and we have some beads down along the side. It measures five and a half, really six when you include all the trim, by eight and a half, and is held together with an organza pink ribbon. And I do want to talk a little bit about the cover. This particular applique I was given in Happy Mail years and years ago, and I just, I knew I'd find the right spot for it at some point, and I finally have. So when you open this journal, it has a fabric cover, by the way, and it is sewn in. Uh, it has a um, cardstock inside with a pocket here and a couple of journal tags. There is a little tuck spot here with a little journaling paper in there. Some vellum, printed vellum with a little tuck space in there. Little paper clip holds on just another piece of the paper. I'll put that right back there. I do like this particular, these came from a couple of different places, the papers, they did not all come from the same place. This particular page is by Minte. I thought it was really pretty. I think I'm saying that correct. There we go. And there is a pocket here and a pocket here. There's a double pocket on that page. Lots of spaces to write, to draw, to sketch. Another one of those pages from Minte. I just, I love that particular pad. And I will put a link to where the digitals came from. This was given to me in Happy Mail, and you can't see it on camera, but if you purchase this and you hold this up to the light, you will see the, the uh, dragonflies glow. You could see through them. And then there are two little journaling cards here in a belly band, and there is another tuck space up under here. So this one's kind of cool because it opens this way. A little bit more space here. And as you can see, lots of places to write and sketch. This one's fun. So you have a journal pocket here. You bring it down and there's another pocket up underneath there. But this is an envelope that also has a pocket. So lots of places to keep your photos and your receipts. Just little pieces of ephemera. Another little journaling spot in here. But you realize you can also use this to journal on. Or even this to journal on. Right on the doily. I like how these match up. On the back of here, there's a little tuck space here with three small journaling cards. And then there is space inside also for more journaling. You may have remember when I made this particular page. It has three cute little pockets on it. I'm not going to show you what's in those pockets. That's a surprise for whoever buys it. But there are little things tucked up inside there. The other part of the vellum. This was a piece that I made for the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists group. Uh, this is, I call it Missing Key. I made it in September. I'm missing key because we have the keyholes, but no key. And then just a little piece of extra paper that I had left over. So I just tucked it up inside there. This is a great flip. I had so much fun with these. It flips once, it flips twice, it flips three times, it flips four times with lots of places to write on every one of these pages. And of course, journaling cards tucked up inside every single one of them. I enjoyed particularly making these two journal cards. It's a matching set and I just had a good time with those. Let me just slide those back in. 
and flip them shut. And then in the back, there is a little pad of paper, just kind of tucked up underneath there. All right, this will be available in my coffee shop. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you have subscribed and click the like button to let YouTube know that you like these things that I'm putting out here. In the meantime, as soon as I get this tied up, there we go. This is Cindy signing off.